Hello everyone, this is Keith here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Door Kickers by Kill House Game. Door Kickers is a strategy game in which you take control of a SWAT team during a tactical intervention. Uh, so yeah, jumping right into the game, uh, I'm just going to sort of show you guys the uh, roster system. So you come up here and you can actually uh, slip between different uh, characters in your SWAT team, and you can you know move their positions, you can rename them. Uh, change their call sign. You get their rank here, some statistics. You can also change their um, portrait here. Uh, and then over here, of course, you have a loadout. Because uh, I haven't really been, I haven't really leveled up yet, uh, I still, my character, or my SWAT members can still only use pistols and uh, lower tier stuff. Unfortunately, um, they cannot get primary weapons yet. But as you can see, there are more classes that your squad unlocks as you uh, level them up. And of course, for completing missions, you get stars, and you can use these stars to um, buy new weapons, uh, armor, and utilities, etc. So yeah, and uh, yeah, and you also have st statistics over here, and you have your uh, points over here for the character, their uh, attributes. And then over here you also have copy, so if you just want to copy the class and paste it onto another uh, squad member or SWAT member, you can do that. You can also set as the default for the appointment class. So yeah, anyway, uh, hopping right in, I'm going to do single missions. This just sort of gives you a bunch of missions you can do. There's also a mission generator, which sort of generates a random uh, mission, which is pretty neat because it makes the game uh, inf almost infinitely... Uh, playable. Uh, and you also have, you can also download missions from the Steam Workshop, uh, which is pretty cool. The game does support Steam Workshop and there are tons of mods already available for this game. That is one cool thing about this game is that it does sort of emphasize on um, community content. It's very easy to create a map. In fact, if you actually go back here and come down here to editor, you can actually, once it decides to load up, you can actually uh, sort of plant uh, textures and stuff as, as you wish and create your own ma maps. Okay, here we go. See, it's actually pretty simple. You can zoom in with the mouse wheel. Uh, but yeah, you just go ahead and uh, you can do this, change between the types of uh, statics or entities. You can just sort of uh, click on them and place them as you like. Like, I don't know, maybe you want this bush here or you want to come down and put a, a couch somewhere. You can do that. And you can also... Um, click on the actual uh, terrace themselves and set their like hearing or their sound uh, what they hear uh, you can change their AI path and all kinds of things uh, so yeah and it's fairly a uh, simplistic tool to set up and then when you want to save the map you just save it and then you can run it and you can open a map that you have downloaded it's uh, actually pretty cool it's an incredibly simplistic tool it's nice that they include that it just makes adding modding the game and adding maps uh, that much more intuitive and easy. So we're just going to go ahead and go to single mission here, go to the official missions. We're just going to do the basic missions for now because I do want to give just a simple overview of the game. In this mission, we our objective is simple, simply to kill all the tangos or hostiles. Um, later in the game, you do have uh, more uh, difficult scenarios where you have to actually you know plan out your route more carefully and you may have to rescue a VIP or something similar to that. So this is the actual gameplay. You can pause and unpause the game with uh, spacebar. In pause mode, you can just sort of slowly st strategize. Um, or if not in pause mode, I kind of like playing without pause mode because it's sort of a, a real-time uh, mode, which I actually like I prefer a sort of real-time strategy. Uh, so yeah, you uh, click the character you want to move, and you just sort of drag in that area, and they'll move there. <laughs> Holding right click and rotating the uh, mouse is how you aim in uh, different directions. And uh, yeah, you can. And if you right click while holding control and then drag, your character will sort of um, actually stay in the right position, as you can see there. Yeah, control. It's control. Right click. Right click and then drag like that, and it'll actually stay in that position, uh, aiming in that direction, which is super useful. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Lost character on the on the first mission. Fantastic. Okay. Let's see if I can't. Uh, 
All right. Uh, can I pick him up or anything? Nope, I guess he's dead. <laughs> Fantastic. Good, great start. Uh, and yeah, and you can do a singular right click on the target to uh, perform other actions. Like, uh, you can tell them, you know, to do stuff like this. Like, uh, wait for clear. Don't move until there are no more tangles in sight. Uh, and you also wait for go codes. Uh, you can reload your weapon. You can throw a flashbang, breach a door, uh, switch weapons, delete waypoint, just all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, very useful stuff. I'm actually gonna throw a flashbang around here. Let's see if I can I can do that. And then okay, so there's no one there. <laughs> Alright, well let's try I know there's some in here, so let's try another flashbang around here and see if I can make that angle. Nice, got him. So as you can see, the very basic mission. Um, I shouldn't have lost a crew member there, but let's go ahead and go into the uh, second mission. So the game is actually uh, pretty fun and surprisingly uh, addictive. I actually really enjoy my time with this game so far. I think it's incredibly fun. Let's keep him in this position, just sort of. There we go. Sort of jet him slowly. There we go. So that is sort of how you play the game. You do want to sort of be slow and methodic, uh, you know, checking all your blind corners and all that. Okay, so this seems to say that there's cover here. Okay, that's good to know. Oh. Oh. Okay, see, now I'm doing much better than I was a second ago. Oh, wow. I believe I missed him. Oh, <laughs> almost lost a guy there. Wow. Okay, and there you go. That's uh, you can also save your replays too from do it when you do missions. Uh, like I can actually challenge mode. There's also challenge mode uh, challenges, which I didn't even notice those before. I guess those give you extra stars if you complete them. And you have uh, tons of official missions actually. Like there is a lot of content in this game. And uh, you have game modes right here. And then, of course, when you add in the fact that, you know, there are tons of community-made uh, missions, you just have so much content. Um, yeah, so this is definitely a fantastic game. It's about $20, uh, but you can currently pick it up in the, at this time I'm making this video, you can pick it up in the Humble Indie Bundle 16, which all games in that bundle support Linux, which is pretty cool. That's one of the reasons why I got that bundle. Um, yeah, and this is a fantastic game. If you like strategy games... Say if you like uh, like Rainbow Six, you like the strategy in that game, um, but you're not really big on first-person shooters, then this is definitely a great game for uh, people who just sort of want a strategic SWAT simulator or something like that. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. This has been Keith, aka Ghost Squad 57, signing out.